Come on, the Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Spencer. And I'm Gabby. Sorry, Yellow Jackets. We're having technical difficulties today. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd, 2012. Now let's take you to the pledge with our news correspondent. Thanks, guys. I'm Tamaya. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, but liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now back to our anchors. Now let's take it to the WCSS Daily Weather Report with Cyron. Thanks, guys. Right now, the, the high is 75 degrees and the low is 68. The humidity is 78%. The dew point is 64 degrees. The average wind speed is 1 miles per hour coming from the southwest position. The temperature is 71.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius. Now back to our anchors. So everyone who returns their books by the end of today will be entered in a raffle for Osborne Prizes. Now for Book Talk with the Lily. Thanks, guys. I'm Lily, and today I'm here to talk about this book, The Princess and the Pea. As a young prince near, near adulthood, the queen tells him he must find a princess bride. But not just any princess will do. Only a true princess will satisfy his mother. The young prince searches the entire kingdom, but returns home alone and sad. Late one stormy night, a mysterious woman knocks at the castle door. She claims to be a true princess, but the queen has her doubts. So she concocts a clever scheme to see if the princess is the real thing. Remember, if you like graphic novels, you'll love this book. That's all for today. Remember to read, read, read. Now back to our anchors. Lise Mortez with Marco. Good morning, I'm Marco, and your Spanish phrase for today is el fin del año académico, which means the final, the end of the academic year. That's all for today. Join me next week for the last, last Spanish phrase for this year. That's all for today. Now back to our anchors. Now for Sports Out to Speed with Taylor, Mark, Reed, and Clayton. I'm Taylor. I'm Reed. I'm Mark. And I'm Clayton. The Heat are on fire. They are tied in the series and soon will be back in Miami. If they win this next game, they are sure to win against the Pacers in Miami and move on in the playoffs this year. And that is what we all want this year. The Heat are going to win the championship. In the NHL, a.k.a. the National Hockey League, the Devils beat the Rangers. The score is 4-1 to in Game 4. And now the series is tied 2-2. Two -two. In the NBA, the Thunder beat the Lakers to finish the Lakers off. The score is 106-90. I knew the Lakers were going to lose the series, but I didn't know that they're that the end of the series would, would end 4-1. to But still, I knew the Lakers were going to lose. In the NBA, the Celtics creamed the 76ers. The score is 101-85. That was a blowout, but that blowout won the series. Now... The Celtics are going to face either the Pacers or the Heat. I can't wait. That's all for today's edition of Sports Up to Speed. Let's take it back to the studio with Gabby and Spencer. That's all for today, Calm the Yellow Jackets. Remember our motto. Make the most of every minute. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.